Hey guys, so wait, I didn't want to start off the vlog like this today, but I had to. I am downtown Brooklyn right now. I just wanted you guys to see this little semi, semi thing. I try to judge, <laughs> judge my face up today just a little bit because I know, well, I don't know. It's just my belief that if you have a short haircut, you got to have a little something extra going on. You know, just to pop it a little bit. Um, because the only person personally I really think could rock a short hairstyle anyhow they look is Megan Good, honestly speaking. But so far, I'm actually liking, I'm liking it. I mean, I put some stuff to hold it down. It's, it's, I put like a little wrapping lotion that I had in the house. It's doing a little something, but yeah, so far so good. Anyways, I'm downtown Brooklyn. I have to go to Old Navy to get some ki the kids some clothes, but... Honestly, the only thing on my mind right now is the soup I have home. Because, listen, pot did a bubble. <laughs> and that soup was calling me. And I've been feeling the soup all week. I finally made it today. So, I'm going to go in Old Navy. Probably make another stop because I want to get some little shirts and long sleeve tops for the winter. And then go from there. So, we're in Trader Joe's. Which, by the way, I did not know Trader Joe's had so many bargains. I feel like this is my, is this not, no, this is, this is not my first time in a Trader Joe's. I went in one before when, when I took the kids trick or treat in like two years ago. But I did not know Trader Joe's have so many deals. Like, I'm loving it. Hold on. I gotta get some of these seaweeds because Kiran loves seaweed. Kiki loves seaweed. You want another one? Yeah, I'm in here with, uh, with Jazzy and I'm just like, wait, what? I did not know all these. Look at this, y'all. Listen. These corn chips, I love the corn chips, right? I kind of prefer the corn ones than the tortilla. I believe they're all made out of corn. But for some reason, like the corn chips to me, they taste really good. Especially with like the spinach dip or whatever. They got a whole black bean, black green pasta. Oh my god, I want to try that, Dizzy. Yeah. Let's see. What color is that one? I actually like this. I love this. This is nice with a, a, a pants and you like a black pants and some nice boots. I would even pair this with a leopard boots. We're in Target. <laughs> They just made it to Target. We went to Trader Joe's, Old Navy, Children's Place, Macy's, and we were Starbucks. We was looking at some a bunch of stuff in um Macy's shoes and stuff, but it's like everybody got there before us and just bought up everything. So we was left with like the scraps. But I love this. I think I'm gonna get this. You could pair this with like a nice black jeans, leopard shoes, and like a red lippy or something. This is gonna hold me. I love it. Thank you for showing me this, because I want it. Look at these sweaters. I love these. I'm a sucker for sweaters, guys. If you, That's one thing about me. I love a good sweater. Ooh, y'all will tell me if my hair's sticking up, right? Y'all will tell me? Okay. But I love a nice sweater. Let me see how much it is. And it's only $28. And it has pockets. Bra. I like it. I love it. Let me see. I love it. I don't need a sweater right now though, because why? We are saving to buy a house. House comes before a sweater. Okay, so we're done. We just left Target. I wanted to show you guys a little bit more so I could fill out this vlog. You know, what, what we we're doing, shopping and things like that. But um, honestly, not much happened. So, we're done. Yo, Century 21 is really going out of business. Look at this. Everything, let me see. Can you see entire store? 10%, 10 to 30% must go. Nah. Let me tell y'all something, okay? The best time would be to wait till like close to the end of the year because everything gonna be like up to 80% because that's what they do. They keep marking it down, marking it down. Trust me, I know as a farmer employee, I don't even know if I'm holding the camera right 
right now, but I'm giving y'all a listen, okay? Don't go right now because you see everything on sale. Wait, they're gonna mark it down, trust me. But the only thing is you might miss out on some good steals, but they got a lot in stock. Y'all will be all right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Wait, I'm trying to see if I can hook the camera up at a certain angle. I hope that's good. I'm not sure, but I hope that's good. Um, let me take this out my ear. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys for a little bit and close out this video. Um, I'm already in bed. I have Savannah sleeping back there. Um, I wanted to put her to sleep. Not after one. She's been asleep for a little while since like 11 something. She finally um, gave in and fell asleep. But um, I'm going to get up and put her in her crib a little, just now. Because I'm trying to break her out of the habit of sleep with me. Because honestly guys, it's not a good thing to do. But um, listen, <laughs> man, you're a breastfeeding mom. Well, for me at least, let me say that. It was hard because if she fall asleep, you just want to put her right here next to you. And just, you don't want to get up to go all the way to the crib. And it was just too much. And I'm just like, her crib is right there next to my bed. Like, what is so hard about getting up and putting her there? So I kind of got her into that habit of sleeping with me or whatever the case may be. And plus, I was a little bit scared to always put like when she had her bassinet. She hated it. Put her in the bassinet, she's automatically awake. Like, two seconds in. Not, okay, I'm dragging it. Two minutes in, she's awake. She hated the bassinet. So I had her sleeping with me. And then eventually, by the time her crib, we got her crib, she did not want her crib at all. She wanted to sleep with me. It was this point where Tristan, Tristan, um, blue, Tristan couldn't put her to sleep. Everything was on me because she literally just wanted her mother. But now she's a full on, full blown daddy's girl, and that's cool. You have her for right now. It's fine by me because when she comes a teenager and they start bumping heads, we gonna know who her favorite gonna be, okay? But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna get up in a little while and put her down in her crib. But I just wanted to come on here and close out the video because I didn't really do much today, especially when I got home. So it wasn't really much to show you guys, you know, about what was going on. But I just wanted to um, get on here and talk to you guys a little bit about what I, what my plans are, what's to come for me in the future. You know, what I'm working on right now and, you know, basically about my youtube goals like what am i am i coming back to youtube for good am i gonna be more consistent now and if i say i'm gonna be more consistent am i gonna stick to it this time that's the thing but um wait i'm getting a little bit too loud let me let me simmer down a little bit because i don't want to wake up at all but um yes guys i am back on youtube my plan is to put out videos almost every day if i can that's the plan and I know that's a big goal to say or something like I'm reaching a little bit. But if I aim big, I'm going to fall somewhere in the middle. But I, I want to aim big and actually achieve that goal. That's my plan right now. Um, Because Kimron said, Mommy, these YouTubers, they put out videos almost every day. Like FGTVers. And, and I'm just like, you watch these people every day? He's like, yeah, why? If you put out videos every day, people would watch, Mommy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try and see. Because they have this whole thing now with YouTube's algorithm. When they, like, the, the more you put out videos, the more they will show up your videos on people's feed. Or something like that. I don't even know. So, um, he was telling me the whole run down because I'm not really good on this whole YouTube business you know this YouTube situation I'm trying to get a hang of it I'm just you know I'm still a newbie my channel is still small so I'm trying to get into it but that is the plan as far as YouTube excuse me guys as far as YouTube I'm trying to be more consistent with everything um also I want to be more interactive as far as telling you more about the kids and what's going on in my life and get a little bit more personal with you guys because I love watching YouTube videos and feeling like I could relate or I'm understanding where my YouTubers are coming from or where they're going or things just to be feel more like I have a better understanding of who I'm watching like the Rush Fam I really fell in love with them because of Keisha because I feel like she always was authentic with herself not to say Trier or the kids or anybody else but it was something about her that attracted me and then they told their story and then watching where they came from Keisha's mother's house and uh, all four of them Kelly, Camaro, Trey 
Keisha in Callie's in um Keisha's bedroom. Or for, and now look at where they're at. Like I love YouTubers that show us the, their true journey and not the ones that come out and they try to be all flashy and they're trying and they're doing stuff when y'all know y'all really don't got it. Stop it. Yeah, I know y'all really don't got it half of the time. But um yeah, I wanna be more personal with you guys. I wanna be more open. I wanna um share my life more, you know, getting more into details, talk about things. I know a lot of people was asking me, Oh, I didn't know you was a divorcee, a lot of friends. I didn't know you was married before. I didn't and I'm just like, Really? I didn't know but um, I plan on making a video talking more about that and sharing that with you guys a little bit more. If you're interested, drop a comment down below and I will gladly share information about it. I don't know if I'll do a video or I'll probably just fill it in in a vlog one day or something. I don't know. But uh, I'm really hungry, guys. This new weight loss thing is killing me. I don't know if you heard my stomach growl just now. That's why I'm mentioning it. But I'm on this journey right now where... I haven't been eating after 7 p.m. It's hard because I love my belly. I love my belly bad, bad, bad. <laughs> um, so it's kind of hard, but I need to lose the weight. I need to lose my stomach so bad. Like I lost, I went from 220 at the end of my pregnancy to 191 suddenly like within a week and that was good for me and then I started going down but I'm like I don't want to be 180 something pounds it's just been steady like 180 something whether it's 184 181 then it goes back to 186 and 183 it's just 180 in the 180s and I want to get back to at least 160 150 I don't want to go lower than 150 because I've never been a skinny not really skinny but a too slim of a person I've always just been right in the middle and I want to stay right in the middle you know but I don't want to be at no 180 um because I can catch myself finding it a little hard to breathe at times where I guess it's a health issue um because I don't know I don't even want to get into that because I can't even explain it the process I just want to be smaller than I am now and I want to lose this belly okay I just want to give you guys a rundown of what's to come, you know, things that I'm doing. I came up with this whole vision board, right? It's a big old vision board of things and it's like my next two year goals because I've been on it as of lately, setting up my future for like the last. That was the reason why I came on YouTube and I spoke to you guys about that. I've been on it, but I was like, you know what? I'm starting from scratch. This process is going to take a while. So all that time... You know, past, I was doing stuff. Don't think I was just sitting here not doing nothing. A lot of time passed. I was doing stuff. I was saving, you know, plotting my business, starting my business, doing research and things like that. And I have come such a long way. And I'm so proud of myself. I really am. Um, uh -uh, this girl is turning. I gotta go. I'm about to kick y'all out. <laughs> this girl, I just heard her move. But yeah, so I have a lot. So much I want to talk about. And I feel like this whole video right here this whole piece right here is a bit of um rambling but i hope you guys understand where i'm coming from I'm just trying to give you guys a few insights just to close off the video and talk talk to you guys a little bit but there's a lot to come and um i want to take you guys along on my journey so if you're new to this channel and this is your first time coming up my, coming across my videos just hit that subscribe button you know hit the notification bell so you'll be alert on what times i post a new video guys that's all i got for tonight i'm gonna get my butt to sleep and turn off back this lamp because i don't want to wake my baby period poo <laughs>